go, I was like working on a bunch of heavy stuff and I wanted to have it weigh the same. So I put duct tape on it to make it feel different. And the tape on your fingerboard? Uh, that was for style, because it yeah. looks cute. <laughs> Originally, I was trying to prevent this. Oh, yeah, yeah. That sound, because I really don't like it. But I've had two people, of my two of my close friends, say that they really liked that sound. Weird. I want to figure it out, get like some big piece of foam that doesn't dampen the sound. Anyway, we'll, we'll figure it out one day. But um, what I look for in a bow is basically that it is... Uh, carbon fiber, so is unbreakable, and that the hair is synthetic, and also unbreakable. Mm. I use synthetic hair exclusively in half for years because it just doesn't break, you know? I mean, if you were playing this violently all the time, you might break a lot of hairs, you know? Plus, I ended up being vegan, and it doesn't come from a horse's buttocks. Ah. It helps. <laughs> Tight, so it bounces too. That's it. What on this? The hair is really taut. Yeah, the hair is very taut. I tighten it to the max for sure to get the maximum bounce feeling out of it. But I, people have, you know, I've taken people's other bows and I've bounced on horse hair. It's it's definitely possible. One thing that I do to give myself an advantage, you should know, and I've had a couple of other cello players switch to this hold. If you're interested in playing more chords and more rhythmical and getting more power as an alternative bow hold. You can try it like this, where you take that and you put your second digit of your pinky behind the stick, and then you put your thumb under the stick, uh, under the frog. Then you get a lot of power, but you can still play pretty expressively. <laughs> it works really good for me though to do this to just grab chords it's so much harder to be you're just like because you can take your whole like weight of your arm and like whip it down there with that because you're like more power than for sure. <laughs> you know? For sure. It's almost like a German style. Almost like, oh, a, like German. a gamba, a little yeah. bit? Yeah. Well, not but I guess that's more like over here. Right. Yeah. Totally oriented differently. This is facing the same way and the same like you can almost do like cole, you know? Mm -hmm. Cole where you're like lotus, lotus. Where you go like that. How they tell you to do that. Repta eruptor. I used to have to do that a lot. And then you can oh, almost yeah, do yeah. the same thing with with it under. So you in. so it basically you know I'm just saying that you still have a lot of shock absorbers and like finger flexibility, where it really works good for a lot of different stuff. But then it's also just way more power. You can just. So there's that. And then it should be also said, because I play so many chords, I've adapted my hand position to a more comfortable and economical way of playing chords, which is, you know, I mean, if you think of them as double stops and you're still using normal, good cello hand position, um, it doesn't really work as good for chords. I find that it's easier if you change the fingering from a minor chord from two to three, and then you can kind of just grab it like a bat, you know? And then major chords are four, or sometimes like that. But I just do a lot of like that, and that's also kind of works for when you're down here and you're like.
you know, keep going and improvising on through a bunch of chords and doing fun stuff like, like that is the most fun. Yeah, okay, so uh, I guess we could, let's operate the bounce menu for just a second, pick a couple, and I'll do a combo. All right, uh, let's do, let's do Cinco. Oh. Okay. <laughs> okay. Well, well, it's hard to do them at the same time. So uh, here's Waltz. sometimes make new synapse connections in between stuff. Like I haven't ever figured that one out before. And it's pretty fun, you know, once you realize that there's something that, that you could totally do that you just haven't quite done before and you just gotta polish it up, polish it off and strengthen the connection, then pretty soon you got a good new situation going on. Yeah. Yes. How about blast and odd time? Blast and odd time bounce. Yes. We can do that. I actually and ding, 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 ding. I actually have a song that involves a blast bounce and an odd time bounce. 